Hey guys, today's video is about not talking about your pain. So you, if you've had chronic pain or disease for a while, you probably have a lot of people that you talk to about your pain and people who ask you about how you're feeling today. And you might have some conversations where really that's all your relationship is based on is talking about symptoms and them talking about their symptoms maybe. And what we've found actually with neuroscience and even with pain research is that it does not help to talk about your pain. In fact, it makes it worse. So they did a research study where people were taking, just writing it down, even doing a pain journal. And people who did a pain journal, their symptoms were worse and lasted longer. So why does this happen? Because all pain is created in the brain. So there is neuroplasticity. What you focus on, you create more of. And so when you're focused on pain, feeling it, talking about it, um, describing it to people, focusing on it, then that becomes important to your brain. Your brain feels like that's important, and so it produces more of the pain. It may not make sense. Why does it produce pain? Just think of it as what you focus on, you create more of, and you're focusing on pain when you're talking about it. So. This may happen to you that people come up and they ask you about your pain because that's what they're used to doing. You do not owe them an explanation. A lot of us are people pleasers and we go into the fawn state and want to over explain, but really you can just keep it very simple. You could say something like, thank you so much for asking. Maybe, you know, you've even talked about it in the past. I know we talk about it. And really what I'm trying right now, the thing I'm doing right now, they've found that the best thing to do is not to talk about the pain. So again, thank you so much for asking. Um, if you keep asking, I'll just keep reminding you. It's like not something I wanna talk about anymore, but um, let's talk about you. Didn't you say you have a new dog? You know, like just change the subject, change it to them, ask about them, start talking about other things and um, start doing other things and focusing on other things. And that will help your brain see that the pain is less dangerous and it will actually produce less and less pain. That is part of the rewiring process. It's reacting neutrally to the pain when it does occur and then doing things that uh, tell your brain or signal your brain to produce it less and less and less. And this is one of them.